everyone, this is my quick look at the Book saddle bag. I did get it in the carbon color. This is a newer bag from Book Bags. Not my first Book bag. Say that three times fast. But I'll tell you why it's not my first Book bag in a minute. So I went for this bag because of the shape and the size. So I was interested in a shoulder bag that would be relatively small. What's nice about this one is that it has a tapered design, so it actually looks a lot smaller than it is on the inside. It's not the first book bag that I had. What I plan on doing after this video is up is later doing a kind of a post-mortem about my first book bag, which I have here, which is the book Mamba Courier. Uh, the thing that I don't like about this bag and why I can't, you know, dissuade people enough from buying this type of bag is the natural fiber material that it's made from. You know, when I make that second video, you'll see it in more detail, but the bag is totally coming apart only after a year of use. What's great about Book is that they have a great warranty program where I bought that bag two years ago, replaced it once after a year because it was deteriorating, got the same bag, no charge to me, got the replacement, used it for a year, started deteriorating, said, I don't like this bag, it's garbage. So I went to this bag here, which is made of polyester, which hopefully will uh, withstand some of the beatings that I give to it. I don't overstuff my bags at all, but you know I, I do like to take them around and I do throw them in cars and take them out of cars and use them in different weather. So I'm hoping that this bag works a little bit better. So what we'll do now is we'll actually take a deep look at what's uh, what the inside of the bag looks like. So this is the bag kind of as is here. So what we'll do is we'll go in it kind of compartment by compartment. So what you'll see here, this is the laptop uh, compartment. You may not be able to see it well, but there's some pretty good padding inside this bag that only weighs about 2.2 pounds. Uh, this is the compartment at the back here. There was a compartment in the other book bag that I have, which is basically just a compartment for magazines or documents or anything of the like. Here's kind of your, your book. You're with book marketing materials. Two more features on the back here that I wanted to mention. The Terralink tag which is there. If you ever lose your bag, you register this code online obviously when you get the bag and if your bag ever is stolen uh, and is reported found, you may be reunited with your bag Help uh, thanks to Book. And then also something that I didn't show here that wasn't on the other bags is there's also a luggage adapter so if you want to put it you know on a on a bag at the airport just to secure it you absolutely have that ability with this uh, with this luggage strap right there when you go into the main compartment here what you'll notice is you'll start to notice the tapered design because when you open this bad boy it actually has a lot more room than you thought and you'll notice that there's tons of room if you want to put in you know a notebook or they even put a coffee mug in there. You can put a coffee mug in there. Uh, your documents can go in here. You know, your documents, you can put an iPad in here. You know, it's got great pockets. And then right at the front here, there's also another pocket. Uh, they've got their patented key ring kind of that you can clip in there. And then obviously, there's your, uh, your saddle uh, tag there. So what I'll do now is I'll, I'll put what I normally put in my bag every day in here and kind of show you exactly what this bad boy can do. This is what the bag looks like normally. Let me just throw in what I normally throw in my bag. First my laptop, it's a 13 inch HP. The back compartment here. So I'll throw in my laptop and it fits perfectly in there hasn't added too much weight. I know my laptop is a is a slim, slimmer laptop there. Let's throw in my iPad here. Uh, yeah. There's another zipper that I could I could throw it in there, but I'm just gonna kinda throw it on the top there. Um, throw in my black notebook. Because you know sometimes you just have to take notes. And it doesn't, so I'll probably just throw it right on top there. Cool, so there it is on top there. Um, business cards, and that compartment there. My mouse, wireless mouse. I'll probably just throw that in there. I've got some cables and headphones and uh, iPad charger, so that'll go right in the front. A very precise science of putting my cables in my bag there. Mm. So I never leave home without a tied to go pen. You never know what you're going to spill on yourself when you're out. 
And then also I'll throw a, I usually throw three pens in, but I will throw one pen in there. And that's kind of all that I usually throw in my bag. And there you go. So that's it. I've got everything in my bag and it, it seems, you know, doesn't seem that bulky. So that's kind of my, my quick look at uh, the Book bag that I just purchased, which is the Book Saddle Carbon. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it goes a little bit better than my last book bag, the Mamba Courier. Uh, I'll have more impressions for you uh, in the days and the weeks and the months to come.